Hey guys, I'm Amarachi. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're vlogging and we're vlogging during the week. This is Friday, May the 3rd, I think. And we're currently, as you guys can see, trying to get <laughs> my kitchen together. And I am clearing out a lot of the boxes. Hold on, I'm watching Hulu Shogun. I'm trying to get an understanding of this show but it seems interesting so far like i was saying i'm trying to clear out all these bins and whatnot so if you guys remember from last night i was supposed to come back and start unpacking the kitchen and just getting it like together because i can't breathe with all these like boxes and stuff like that well it turns out that it didn't happen last night i got so tired took a shower my first shower in the house <laughs> For the very first time and immediately, immediately I got out of my shower, I was tired, like I was sleepy. So I literally lotioned up, put my nightgown on or my night, my night clothes on and yeah, I put my night clothes on and went to bed, woke up this morning, started work and here we are. I've already started, so like if you guys can tell, I've already started like taking stuff out so everything that you see here that are still in boxes need to be unboxed and washed as well as all of this that's over here too not excluding all the stuff from cb from amazon like all of that over there everything that you see here has to be washed pretty 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 well so i'm trying to clear off as much stuff here because initially i would practically really i would love to have everything dry here as well as dry in the dishwasher um so yeah, I also have a few other things over here too. I didn't realize that I had packed seasonings in one of my pots. So I have to go through and check and see if these are expired. If they're not expired, great. Uh, if they are expired, then obviously I'll add them to the grocery list. So yeah. In the meantime, um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch me unpack. I don't have much else to say. Oh my gosh, before I do even put you guys up and we just get started on unpacking all of my ceramic mugs and cer ceramic like coffee coffee cups and teacups all broke each and every one of them i don't have any like any of my ceramic mugs left but one this is the only one that survived I... this is the only one that survived which is, have you been naughty or nice? This is the only one. And then at that, I had four or maybe even five, no, I had six. My thumb is up over here, but I had I have six broken glasses, like drinkware glasses, to which it's my Crate and Barrel Wide Hip wine glass. I have two of those that are broken. And then my favorite tea glass. I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna pick up these because I don't wanna. I don't wanna drop anything. I don't want. As a matter of fact, um, let me just make room. And then I had three of these beautiful tea mugs that you can drink coffee or tea out of. I predominantly use this just for tea. Two of those are broken, so that's what four glasses. And then I had my champagne flute that I got from my sister's wedding that she put in her bridesmaid proposal box. That's broken. And then I have another champagne flute that I don't we'll call it a buy and it was probably a gift and that one's broken so that's what six so with that being said i'm a little annoyed but it's fine something in me told me that those were going to break during the the move so i ended up putting a few of those glasses on my registry prior to me closing just in case and i'm glad that i did so yeah happy friday <laughs> I hope your Friday has been less eventful than this in terms of broken glasses and such. But yeah, I'm gonna just do me and clear out this kitchen. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs>
so I suck. I've taken a break from washing because my fingers are wrinkled AF. So I've taken a poppy break and I'm currently trying out the cherry limeade that came in the the variety pack you guys saw me get from my Costco delivery and this is nice. This is very nice. Happy to say that I have my glass straws back. None of these broke, thank God. But um, in the meantime, what I am going to do is I guess I can go ahead and do like a quick Amazon haul because in, in part of me trying to breathe in this house, there are a lot of boxes that need to get out of here. <laughs> And I've been wanting to hold off on opening stuff so I can share that with you guys in terms of what I have here. At the same time, there's a lot of other stuff that are still coming in that are not yet here. So I thought, why don't I just go ahead and do a haul of the things that I do have, get rid of the boxes, put them away. And then when more stuff comes in, of course, we'll, we'll unbox it together. So starting with a few things, let me go ahead and bring them here so that we can kind of quickly get through all of this <laughs> so i've already showed you guys the drawer the draw the drawer whatever organizer that is from amazon and again i'll link everything down below most of this stuff i bought myself and then the rest were gifts from my house for my registry so i'll show you everything and there are a lot of these things here also need to be washed So first is a track organizer. So I don't have like a, a like a linen or like a cleaning closet on the second floor by where the kitchen is. So I'm gonna use one of the empty, I'm gonna use the laundry room that's downstairs. The stackable laundry room that's downstairs, being that I'm not using that space um, for the washer and dryers, I'm gonna use that as my cleaning slash, slash like utilities closet. So in order for me to stay organized, I got a track organizer off of amazon <clears throat> to which you could literally hang in these slots your brush your brush your broom your mop whatever you use to pretty much clean and maintain your home it came in this white color i think or this cream color yeah this beige color and here you can mount one two three four five items here and then along with it it has these hooks here that collapse up and down. So if you wanted to hang like a rag or hang a bag or whatever the case may be, you have these hooks so you can hang them. And then of course you can collapse them back, but these are being a little stubborn. Okay, because it's still brand new. It does come with screws and an anchor so that you can mount them against the wall which is what i will do two this is on my registry my sister got this for me which is some glass bottles i absolutely love 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 these so 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 much she got me the taller one as you guys can see super pretty super cute super aesthetic -y. um maybe all you do is just twist the top and there it is See what I'm saying? Um, it doesn't have like a, a narrow opening. It is pretty wide. So you can stick, a, what's it called? A, a straw in here and just drink your beverage. I plan on using these for when I'm juicing or either just taking coffee to go in the car and just making it look really, you know, really pretty and really, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but mainly for juices. So these actually need to be washed. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and then put them into the sink. And the great thing about these glasses is that you can use them with cold beverages as well as hot beverages. So this is a win-win for me. I love, love, love. Okay. At the same time, I do love that they included some juicing recipes. As I said, I do want to get back on my juicing game. So I'm excited to incorporate this rosemary grapefruit and detox watermelon. That sounds really good. Next is also another gift from my registry. This is the syrup. Um, what's it called? The syrup bottles that you pour your syrup in for your coffee bar. So my coffee bar is gonna go over there. And yeah, so she got this for me. This one came with the black, yeah, perfect. 
This came with the black pump. As you guys probably noticed that the finishes in here are very much silver, but they're being painted matte black so a lot of the accents here you're gonna see a lot of pieces of black so that's the pump here's the glass and of course you guys don't forget whenever you get stuff online like amazon or from target or home goods make sure you wash the stuff because a lot of times nine times out of ten there's dust all over these things there's chemicals that they use in it it just needs to be thoroughly washed before use so even though this may be in a, in a clear bag it's gonna be washed and i love how the spout here spouts down like it shoots down versus shooting up and out that way whenever i am in my coffee <laughs> bag i'm just gonna be like ah! i know and y'all don't judge my hands are very ashy i just washed a bunch of dishes so don't come for me okay thank you it did come with labels and my labels came in black as you guys can see so we have vanilla, chocolate, salted caramel, almonds, simple syrup, pumpkin spice. Uh, it's a good, it's a good amount. Next thing is, it's a stainless steel mixing bowl set that comes with um, a grater on top. It's airtight, it's airtight and it has three uh, grater attachments. This is also from my god sister Linda. So it comes with five different sizes. So 0.63, 1.5, 2 quart, 3 quart, and 5 quart. Of course, if you're using the mixing bowls to actually like store food, there it has airtight lids. So you have the lids with attachments and then just the actual airtight lid. So lid with the grater opening. So if you're gonna grate anything, it needs to be in the larger bowl and not in the smaller one. Okay, then the next few things that I have here, I purchased myself. One being a paper towel holder. I got it in matte black. Um, the next thing I got was this KitchenAid mitten for what I'm cooking in my Betty Crocker era. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> the next thing I got was a apron. I said I'm about to be in my Betty Crocker era. So I got this beautiful cream and ivory um, apron from Amazon as well. And the texture is linen. So it's such a pretty vibe. Like, so I'm saying like, uh, I love this. So pretty and it has a pocket right here. Oh, that's two pockets. Oh my gosh. Comes down to my knees. Super, super cute. Yeah. My cousin Kristen, who got me my plates and my cups from Crate and Barrel, also got me this honey, um, what is it called? A honey jar? A swarm glass honey pot. It is the most cutest honey jar ever. I cannot wait to fill it up with some Nate's honey. And if you're from Texas, you know about some Nate's honey. That is the best honey. Okay, so this is the top. This is the top, right? Ah, this is so cute. And then this is the stirrer. Jar, the stirrer. And then the lid. Like. No, I absolutely love this. I can't wait to fill this up with some Nate's honey. Like I really can't, but it's going in the sink for it to get washed. Lastly, one of the last things that I have. Okay. So I picked up a Simply Modern 40 ounce Trek tumbler, which came with two straws. And here she is in her, in her, in her glory. It's definitely given like a stone color. Like if you guys haven't realized, I'm really big on like stone or cream or like natural soft nudes. I'm gonna be using this daily. I have to increase my water intake horribly. Like I really do. One thing that I definitely saw on Instagram that definitely influ influenced me to purchase this. Like this was definitely a purchase that I was influenced to buy. Like literally, which is a cordless electric cutter and. Literally I want you to listen. This is to cut up all these boxes. Because who's finna break a nail trying to break apart all these boxes? Not I. This, this has to be like one of the best purchases that I've purchased being a homeowner because of being influenced to purchase this. Like there's a safeguard on here. So even when I'm pulling on the trigger, 
it's not gonna cut on. It's, it won't cut on until the safe lock is switched. But you have to hold on to it the entire time. That's the only killer about this, but. <laughs> I'll link everything down below. Trust me, I will. So the last thing was a need I bought, which also needs to be washed too, is my bedside ca carafe, is that how you pronounce it? Bedside carafe. And this is giving me very much vintage, you know, she likes to drink Henny on the rocks type of <laughs> vibes or she likes, she likes to drink scotch. Neat. Got it from Amazon as well. This is all glass. It's a bedside carafe. So I'm gonna fill it up with water and I can add lime to it. It's literally meant to be by my bed. So if I ever get thirsty in the middle of the night. So here is the cup, which happens to be the lid. And here is the craft. Y'all. And then to close it, y'all can't tell me that this is not a beautiful bedside carafe for just water. I'm gonna be drinking water every night the top which is actually the cup oh please stop stop ah! that is pretty much it for my amazon haul right now there's a oh i'm tripping there's one other thing sorry so this actually came today because i don't have one or at least i thought i did and i may have lost it during the move or something but it's a professional screwdriver need this for sure because i'm going to do a diy project today which is by changing the locks on my front door I went and purchased a new one again this is from amazon this one does come with its own bits which i do absolutely love so right at the bottom you just twist the bottom cap off you have a whole set of bits for you to use then you just screw it back on now here's the kicker if you're working with tight spaces and you can't get this entire and you can't get this entire thing in if you push down on this felt little nudge here i'm gonna push it out with two fingers because you have to hold on to both sides you can extend this as far as you need to And there you have it, an extended screwdriver. Every home buyer needs something like this, literally. Because the amount of DIY we finna be doing in this house, because who finna call which handyman? I am the handyman. Shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much all of my Amazon stuff. So what I'm about to go ahead and do now, because I only have 26% left on this battery, I'm gonna go ahead and break down these boxes, put them in trash um, bags, and then throw them into the garage. Because as of today, still, I have not received my garbage bins from the city. So I've been having to find a nearby dumpster, like Starbucks, they have a dumpster. I'm like, hey, do you mind if I use your dumpster so I can throw some stuff out? They're like, yeah, that's cool. As long as it's not a body. It's not a body, it's just some trash. And <laughs> and I'll just throw it in there because I don't have my, my trash bins or my recycle bins just yet. It's the wildest thing to me, but the city likes to take their time. So with that being said, I have work to do and I don't know that you guys care to see all of this, you know, breaking down the boxes and stuff like that. But if you do want to see the electric mini cutter in action, I can do that for you. One second. So literally to use this, you have to push on the safety button in either direction. So going in or going through the other way. Because I am right handed, I'm going to push it in this way and then pull on the trigger with the remaining three, four fingers that I have on here. So the way to do it is that while you're holding onto the trigger, pushing the trigger, you have to be using some type of friction so you have to kind of glide it forcefully. But it's not gonna cut from here all the way up by itself. You have to actually drag your blade up. So literally going to release the safety lock, pull up the trigger, and then just cut. boxes by hand is now a thing of the past <laughs> like this is so fast and so quick like oh my goodness 
And that is it. My boxes are not broken down, cut up, ready to go in the trash. So yeah, girl, that's pretty much all that I got from Amazon, from gifts being gifted to me purchasing stuff. I am now going to go ahead and like I said, tackle these boxes. I also need to feed my dog child. She's probably hungry by now. It's after six o'clock and she is well over overdue on her on her meal so i'm gonna attend to her and then i'll pick you guys back up hopefully once this whole mess of a kitchen is rectified okay <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys i'm such a bad vlogger all right let's go downstairs come on and <laughs> i look so crusty dusty i've been doing a lot of unpacking rob was with me um Hold on. I'm doing church from home today. So good morning. This is the moving vlog still. I totally forgot to pick you guys up. It's been a hectic, crazy few days. I don't want to get into the spill of it because if, you, if you've moved before, you just know the ups and downs that come with moving. And so I've been trying to just gather my thoughts and just get things done peacefully by myself. So yeah i'm trying to think of where i left off with you guys i don't remember where i left off with you guys i think it was when we went to um home goods and to target and then i don't think i vlogged after that i've been busy getting the entire kitchen complete and washing a lot of stuff and then getting things into cabinets and i'll show you guys too but for the most part it's been a quiet few days and yeah I've been editing the vlog. This vlog that I'm putting up is long, long, long overdue. And low key, was supposed. To, this video was supposed to go up in April, but obviously things t happened and I closed on my house. And so a lot of things kind of took precedence over uploading footage that I captured during the time. So I'm trying to get back on my Zoom of things and just, you know, trying to get back into marble just ran upstairs getting into the groove of things again and getting back into my routine so um i didn't vlog yesterday i meant to take you guys with me um when i left the house i had every intention on coming back to the house to get my camera because initially when i left there was no juice in my battery like it was absolutely depleted so i figured out that once i take marble to go to her groomers which i dropped her off yesterday and she looks <laughs> she looks great. I would come back, get my camera, and then take you guys out on a day of home decor, just home buying stuff. So I failed to do that because I totally got sidetracked with other stuff and I just went directly to where I was going to go home shopping. So a few things that I did pick up. I picked up the rest of my plates and my bowls as well as some serveware for the house that was on my home warming registry. I picked up some of those myself. And then, and they're the exact same bowls and plates that I showed you guys that was gifted. I picked up some more. So I have an equal amount of plates that could fit, that can feed at least four people right now. I picked up this serve, this serving bowl and i'll show it to you guys too all from crate and barrel i believe this is the nine or either the 12 inch um serve bowl all in white this is from the tobin collection or the tobin line at crate and barrel i love how super deep it is so i can put pasta rice chicken whatever and just put it on the table everyone serve yourself then i also picked up another platter i remember where i put my platter okay it's over here and i believe this is a 14 inch in diameter it's pretty, pretty big. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, it doesn't look as big on camera for whatever reason, but it's actually pretty big in person. Um, so I plan to like serve like flatbread or like, I don't know, pieces of tacos, like mini tacos or just chicken or whatever. And just put that all on here, put it on the table and bada bing, bada boom. Fits the roundness of the dining room table that we have so yeah i got that i picked up something else that was truly an unexpected buy but it was on sale hold on okay i'm low-key excited about this and then i'm low-key not <laughs> okay this was also on my registry and i decided to go ahead and just bite the bullet and get it because it was on sale initially it was yeah a pretty penny and now it's 
somewhat of a decent penny mind you this is an investment piece here in the kitchen it'll be used long term so the reasoning and the justification behind this purchase was absolutely justifiable i'm going to use this even if i have to teach myself on youtube even if i have to go to youtube university on how to use this i'm going to learn how to use this because moving forward we're going to be in our betty crocker era hello so okay are you guys ready hold on and this is in milkshake it is so freaking pretty it's like a frosted matte color it's gonna go really nice with what i'm trying to create in here so yeah it comes with all one two three four four pieces as well as a stainless steel mixing bowl so yay now it's just for me to figure out where i'm going to put it and that's what i've been doing this entire time while i've been unboxing the entire kitchen i've been going and trying to figure out placement in terms of where i want certain stuff i wanted to make like a schematics of placement of certain things like i wanted it to make sense if the oven is right here ideally i would want for my seasonings to be on the left side of the of the stove so i can easily grab shake and pour or whatever so if that's the case if my seasonings and everything i'm going to use to cook is above there then underneath it i need all my utensils and underneath my utensils i need all my pots and my pans see where i'm going here then to the right side <laughs> if i'm going to be eating what i'm cooking and i need to plate what i'm cooking i'm going to reach to my right grab my plate and then dish out what i'm cooking put them in containers or to serve it to people then underneath Beneath my actual eatery pieces beneath that are servable dishes I can put them in and then plate them and etc etc so that was my whole thought process about this I've always had this system if you will since I've been living by myself and it's worked for me never had an issue where I couldn't find something because it was just so routine you know what I'm saying just to grab go grab go however I did come across something that really has irked me and i'm going to figure out a way to where i can probably hire a contractor and work around this and i'll show you so here this is the uh, this is the stove top in the oven right like i mentioned i want to be able to grab my seasonings and cook i want to be able to grab my pots and cook i want to be able to grab my plates dish it accordingly then i would love to grab other dishes to plate and serve people if need be at the same time if i am feeding just myself i'll be able to grab my dish plate it but then grab my silverware and eat my food here is the problem that i'm having these drawers are so narrow and so thin like they're so 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 narrow and my problem with that is that there isn't a flatware organizer that is narrow enough to fit all of this or to fit this space shall i say so what i've ended up just doing in the meantime is keeping my oven mittens here obviously so if i need to grab anything from the oven then easy access cool if i'm cooking then i have my apron here awesome so it falls in the right system ethically it makes sense right what doesn't make sense is where my flatware is actually at so if we turn and turn and turn and turn you see that drawer over there? Yeah, right here. That's where my flatware is because this is the only drawer besides where the coffee bar is. This is the only drawer that's wide enough. Everything else is super narrow. Sorry, everything else is super narrow, super small and tiny, even like over here too. And my throwaway spots, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to put silverware here in the island per se. So the fact that it has to be placed here, it's what's kind of throwing me. I would have much rather that this size drawer be here as well as over there. I mean, it is what it is. Even like my cooking utensils, like they're, they're all right here for right now. And it has to work on it, I guess. I mean, I, girl, I don't know. So I mean, pots and pans will still go down over here. It's just, yeah. So yeah, that's that's what I what I mean by all of this. So it's a work in progress. I'm used to unpacking within two three days, like fully unpacked and fully set up and ready to go. Because when I was renting those bins from U-Haul, I had a time frame to which I had to <laughs> speed things up and get be done with. But being that I don't have that same limitations, and and at the same time, the space that I'm in is a lot bigger than what I've ever had or what I'm used to. 
God, thank you. I'm not complaining. It's just a little bit more so having to incorporate time management and just kind of, you know, at the same time, I'm not trying to burn myself out and trying to rush the process. This process is meant to be enjoyed and I have to continue to remember that like, enjoy the process, enjoy your house. This is your actual house. Like enjoy the space that you're in nothing has to be nothing's ever going to be perfect i have to keep reminding myself that i'm going to try not to cry it doesn't have to be perfect just be happy and content with what you have and then god will bless you with more so if i needed to be perfect next time okay maybe it'll be spot on but nothing's nothing perfect doesn't exist perfect does not exist but <sighs> anyway so that's all i've been doing really is just organizing the kitchen trying to get it yeah <laughs> trying to just get it but um yeah i'm gonna finish up washing a few other dishes um i still have to buy flatware because i don't have any so i'm gonna wash the knives that i do have in the pots and pans and then my starbucks cups so quick disclaimer i know that starbucks is quote unquote canceled so i heard down the grapevine however i did purchase these with my own money not one not two not three not four not five not six and this one up there somewhere maybe seven or eight cups from starbucks i understand that they may be canceled but i'm not gonna stop using these cups i'm sorry they're very efficient and very durable cups that i'm still gonna keep using them doesn't mean that i truly support starbucks and all however i gotta i gotta i'm not throwing away these cups i'm sorry okay so let's finish cleaning up the kitchen and yeah. I felt to also mention that I did grab something else too from Crate and Barrel. Oh, it was so pretty outside. When I was in store getting the rest of the stuff, I wanted to pick up two mugs because I love my mugs, especially for having coffee or drinking soup out of, or even just have tea or whatever, or having my little yogurt parfaits in here. So this is the Tobin 24 ounce ceramic mug like y'all it is huge it is huge like so 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 huge again this is 24 ounces no like it's actually huge like i'm excited if you guys are wanting anything that i purchased i will leave all the links down below for for everything that i got and where i got them from trust me they're not affiliated links i'm not there yet god willingly i will be there but right now i'm not there so just want to clear the air there okay okay bye okay you guys it's a little time later um i've been wrapping up this video that's supposed to go out today which is from um march yeah no um <clears throat> i'm drinking out of my simply modern you know Stanley Dupe cup and I love this so much mm. um, we've made a lot of progress I think I stopped washing dishes and put up all the dry stuff all I've done so far outside of editing my video is taking out all the seasonings that were inside one of the pots so that pot needs to be rinsed out and possibly washed and then I gotta throw out these seasonings and I have to make a list because the goal is to go to the grocery store today as well as to go to Bath and Body Works to get soaps and lotions because I, I really don't have any. I checked my bins for everything and I don't have any. So we're gonna go to Walmart to get groceries and then we're gonna go to um, Bath and Body Works. We'll possibly go to Bath and Body Works first um, and then go to the grocery store and then come back and unload and then put the desk together. So yeah. I did order shelf liners on Amazon. They should be here sometime this week. So everything that's already put up will have to eventually come out so that I can put the liners in, but that's perfectly fine. I don't want any of that. I don't want to wait and have all of this on the countertops. I want everything tucked away. And then when the time comes, I'll bring them all back out and put them back in once I have the shelf liners in the cabinets. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh my dining room table you guys my dining room table is still a what's the word a stowaway for a lot of things and speaking of 
that is something that I can go ahead and do, but I'm trying to multitask. What I really need to do is take my throw pillows out of this box and allow them to fluff up because the pillow covers are getting washed today too. So I would like to already have this out and about and fluffed and ready for it to look and sit pretty. Oh, this is super tight. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> How do I get this open? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, no. No, they absolute. Oh, your cushion is compressed in a roll pack for shipping purposes. Do not open with sharp objects. Please shake vigorously up to five minutes to regain fluffiness. Please allow up to 24 to 48 hours to, regret, to regain its fluff loft in case you don't get the desired result. Okay, so I got the other three open. I'm working on the last pillow, but I want y'all to see what y'all niece is doing right now. Watch. Hey, pretty girl. Hi. Hey, mama. Hey, you guys. Um, it's been some time later, and we're finally getting ready to head out and go um, to Bath and Body Works and go pick up groceries. I have a Kroger delivery coming tomorrow i think um for some things that i know that walmart just doesn't have and i like kroger a lot better um so trying to put my hair up but chidara came by and she stopped and gave me a gift as a congratulations gift on the new house and she gave me some beautiful flowers which smell amazing and I unfortunately do not have a vase for it. So I don't know how we finna do this because oldie but goodie, a Joe Malone gift as well. I haven't opened it yet. I plan on open, opening it once I have like my kitchen and the living room, dining room all sorted out. So I know where to put things at that point, but thank you my love if you're watching. I know you are, but still thank you. Okay off to Walmart and off to Bed Bath & Beyond, not Bed Bath & Beyond, girl, Bath & Body Works. Yeah. Okay, off we go. Okay, you guys, we're at the first stop. I felt to mention that I have to make a return to um, to Amazon. Uh, activate Sentry Mode. And it's here at Kohl's. So I'm pulling into Kohl's rather than going to Whole Foods. This is just easier. Hold on. I think this is still in the same packaging. Um customer service is probably down here thank you hi um i haven't shot the hair in forever I shouldn't have done that. Hey, you guys. So we're back home um, after grocery shopping. Y'all remind me not to go back to Walmart. I was quickly, utterly reminded and humbled 
as to why I shouldn't be shopping at Walmart. Better yet, I should only be doing pickup orders from Walmart. But that says it that says that says it all um anyways i want to do my first grocery haul i've never done a grocery haul before so if it ain't what y'all expect it to be be patient we'll get there i'm gonna start off with bath and body works that's where we went to first and i gotta make this quick because i gotta take y'all's niece outside of the park. so bath and body works i didn't know that they were having a sale today so pretty much everything was under a hundred dollars for what i got so i think that's pretty pretty good in my opinion because they, typically you walk out of there with like what four candles and you spend over a hundred dollars i spent under a hundred dollars and i got more than four items so i think that's a pretty good deal so i got soap like i mentioned i'm getting soap so i picked up two champagne toasts one cozy vanilla almond and then a goodie but od mahogany teakwood so i got two mahogany teakwoods two champagne toasts and then one cozy almond that's just five hand soaps and then i did get two candles two single wick candles both in oh well one is coffee and whiskey which smells divine as well as mahogany and vanilla mahogany vanilla which also smells divine like oh, these are gonna go in my office for sure okay i got a few other things i did pick up two hand creams one in champagne toast and then the other hand cream in mahogany teakwood and then I did pick up a plug-in um, socket thing. And the fillables that I picked up was <laughs> funny. So I got two mahogany vanillas because honestly, these just smell incredible. The candle and the scent, I just know it's gonna go hard. And then this also wallflower, um, got two of these, sweet orange and agave. So the soaps, I believe, were two for 24, either three for 24. The wallflowers were $3.50 each. And then the wallflower plug-in was $6.95. And then the last two things that I did get, get mind you, the hand creams were $8.95 a piece. So the last two candles that I got were three wick candles. So the first one that I got was in Fiji White Sands. This smells so freaking good. It smells like a vacation. It smells like coconut, fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. No wonder. Yeah, this is going in my room. Then the last thing that I got, which is also going in my room or possibly down here in the living room was sweet orange agave. Like I mentioned, I got the wallflower, but I also picked up the candle as well. <sighs> I'm not a fruity girl, but these two definitely got, definitely took the cake. So this one has effervescent citrus, golden agave, and jasmine musk. Ooh, yeah. I'm glad I got these two for sure. So that was it from Bath and Body Works. My damage was a little under $100, um, not including tax, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was all that I got. And then we're gonna do a quick grocery haul. And this is in no particular order. I'm pulling whatever I see out the back first, just letting you guys know. First thing up, white cheddar popcorn and I have snacks but I'm gonna all consume them in moderation one thing I will not not have in this house is some white cheddar popcorn because I'm definitely gonna be on my Olivia Pope with my wine and my popcorn watching Scandal <laughs> I did that all throughout college and I still do that up until today I'll watch reruns reruns of Scandal with popcorn and wine <laughs> If you know, you know. And then I did get old-fashioned oatmeal. Love oatmeal. And then I did pick up sugar. Again, we're going to be baking. Then, if you guys know, you know. Dots pretzels. I couldn't find my Zen green tea. But I have tried um, Yogi's green tea kombucha. And this is still also very, very good. Passion fruit citrus. I did pick up some more cleaning stuff. So I picked up Lysol's, my favorite apples. We have avocados, nuts, sweet potato cubes. I don't even have to say much about this. Peppers, brioche bread. This is gonna come in handy when we make our avocado toast. Black pepper, some nates, y'all already know. Some obey, 
crushed red pepper flakes focus sriracha sauce i couldn't help myself some tabasco we have some pre-made salad i love taylor farms salads so i have the sweet kale chopped kit and then the kit sides southwest and some kerrygold this is in garlic and herbs good especially on asparagus and scallops mm, so good tony's and then some goya crackers and then last but not least eggs so that's pretty much it you guys that was all that i got my total was a little outrageous because it's walmart but this is i'm pretty much starting all over i don't have anything in my pantry or my fridge so i don't think in two weeks time i'll need to go all out and buy all of this so yeah i will go ahead and zoom through all of this and load stuff up in the fridge i'm currently still waiting on my organizers to come in but in the meantime this stuff gotta get put up so yeah Okay. okay, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my grocery haul, you guys. She's looking at my feet. Ew, your nose is cold. <laughs> Banana. Mm. Bim, 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 bim. Oh. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi to them? No? Okay. But that was my grocery haul. I'm gonna go ahead and take Miss Thing out to go potty and yeah oh speaking of potty she already had an accident in my house mm-hmm yep because she ripped her diaper off by herself mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah i gotta talk to you guys and bring her up to speed on y'all's niece because she wants to be put up for adoption like she's begging <laughs> i'll see you guys when i come back bye